So we're talking about women in leadership at a conference on training and development. So my question is, what role does learning and development, what role do the professionals in this group have in expanding women in leadership um, in, the, in the region? I can start first. Um, I think R&D people can play a major role. Um, so if I were to look at the Samsung journey, we are creating the awareness and we're also building a number of modules. Uh, in total, we have created 30 modules to help people be aware of that diversity and inclusion. Uh, and particularly for women, uh, there is a, a very, very special module with um, a lot of learning there. I, I think having the dream from a, from a start is important, but having the network and the, the, the learning to, to be able to sustain it is equally important. So for example, in America, uh, we have actually started a Soul Sisters club and we invite all the guys to come you know and the female and there's quite a bit of uh, learning from each other um, and again as of course we need to learn from um, other companies who have excelled in this aspect um, well this is a, a bit of a tricky question to answer um, let me relate the story. I think we, we always try and do something on the 8th of March, right? That's International Women's Day. And so this year we said, hey, let, let's do a women's conference. And then, but immediately when, after someone came up with the idea, we said, hmm, but aren't we all about, you know, diversity and inclusiveness? So I, I think there's always a risk and something that we always debate, um, you know, here we are talking about how we are like everybody else and here we are saying that let's exclude 50% uh, of the population. So um, we don't have uh, an answer to that, uh, but our approach generally has been to talk about, um, you know, building competencies regardless of gender. I, I think, um, you know, you know, I was reading also, you know, in, in some circles, men feel that they're being discriminated against because there's such a pro-women uh, movement going on on some organizations. So it's, it's quite interesting, you know, I mean, who, who's being uh, discriminated against? So, so in general, I think we, we try to talk about diversity under the black race uh, in more general um, terms. In my company, we have this rotation policy for some of the more senior offices where, and we are actually supposed to be rotating to different parts of the region in the countries and all that as part of certain um, guidance in terms of career journey. But what I do appreciate is um, we are not discriminated as, for example, mothers with young children because it's difficult for us to relocate to another country to work in the bank. So that is, I think, something which is very deliberate, although it may be maybe a HR or a talent rotation policy within individual companies, which is good, but there's flexibility given to individuals because of their background, family, and all that. And I, I guess from that aspect, the customization is also important for the individual employees of any company. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Uh, in my company also, we encourage uh, our people or talent especially uh, to be mobile, right? But at the same time, we also recognize that uh, mobility may be not for everyone, but it doesn't mean that they are not balanced, they are not high potential. So uh, as an organization, we uh, somehow provided a different platform uh, for those who are not mobile and mostly uh, female because of family reason also male because of family reason as well uh, you know to still continue growing in their career uh, and without having this mobility as a bigger uh, biggest part of the component so 